Now you may have noticed there's one problem with our font mapping and that is the fact that all of our fonts are now the same weight. If I go back to Axia, these are bold, our headings are in bold, and yet when we have a look at it in Safari, they're definitely not bold, they're actually quite light. So how do we ensure we have the right weights? We need to go back to Google Fonts again. So if I go to Google Fonts here, and remember we just hit plus and went, yeah, great, we've got our font. So if I hit plus, we've got Merryweather. And let's see if we can interpret what this is saying. It's saying the URL is the fonts of the Google APIs. The family is Merryweather. And to uh, swap it, great. It's just saying Merryweather. It's not giving us any details of weights. Um, the default weight is regular, and that's what it's replacing it with. So how can we fix this? You notice when I hover over this, we now have some red options, some options just above our sample type. Regular 400 is the one selected. I can click on the downward facing triangle and I can actually add bold as well. So we're going to add that. Now, the thing is each of these, including italics and light, are separate fonts you need to download. If I open this up, one of the things to note, our load time is still fast. So the more fonts you download, the slower it takes to load them. You know how sometimes you'll open a page on your mobile phone and if you're on mobile data and it's a little bit slow, um, it'll take a second for all the fonts to show up. This is what is slowing it down. So we're going to restrict it to just the ones we need. And now if I translate this again, fonts, Google APIs, but we can see family equals Merriweather colon 400 comma 700. So it's saying download regular 400, also download 700. So what I need to do is I need to get this updated URL. And I'll just go Command and C to copy that. We'll go back to Axia. We'll go to Publish generate HTML files like we did last time. Um, if you're not seeing the, um, the options for your web fonts, make sure you click on the little setting symbol here in the top right. Okay, so we go through to fonts and we will replace this instruction here. I'll click in there, Command A to select the whole thing, delete, and then we'll paste our new one which says Merriweather 400, 700 display swap. Okay, so let's see if this fixes our problem. I'm just gonna go file, save, and we will preview. And now that's looking a lot more bold than it was before. Um, so yeah, remember to add the fonts that you need. That's all you need to do. There are other options here. If we go publish, generate HTML files and fonts, you'll see that when we go to our font mappings, we can actually specify the font styles that we want to swap over. I usually leave that so that it can do that by default because I've seen a lot of the time when people choose a specific style and font weight to um, swap over, things can start going badly awry. Um, so I do recommend just leave it and it will be able to do that automatically.